That's the kind of example that can be shown to these people that maybe are letting their properties get a little out of uh, sorts, I guess would be the nice <laughs> way to put it. Um, and he's working really hard to, to you know, make that a go. Uh, we're, we're working with some folks in Blue River to also add a designation to the Ofter Heidi Drive as a scenic, as a bikeway on top of a scenic bike, uh, scenic byway. So, you know, there's a lot of things that we're working with the mill site developers over there, and we've, and I just wanted to toss this out there. Oh, about a year ago, uh, I think it was Cascade Locks was looking to uh, build a, possibly, Nestle was looking at Cascade Locks That's still for, for a water bottling plant. And they were meeting some resistance from the community, so. I looked up the number and I found this gal and I got her email. I sent her an email thinking, geez, how could you beat water from West Spur that comes out of Waldo Lake, you know? And uh, within an hour she called me. But she was looking for well water, not surface water. So that just goes to show that if you don't ask, you never know. Nestle's the, I'm the city planner for uh, Cascade. Oh, you so, are? Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't ask me why. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, but, um, yeah, it, it Nestle still is in the game, but we've got every East Coast environmental group in the world deciding to make Cascade locks a Cascade. So. But yeah, there's also some innovations in the bottling aspect of that coming right out of OSU. Yeah, yeah, so. reduction of <laughs> plastic, all that stuff. So. Yeah, I, I think that, I mean, you guys have a, a world-class setting here. Uh, it's just, it's like when you look at a great old Victorian house and you say, boy, what beautiful bones. You guys have got the bones. You just need to, to put some more flush back on them, so. And we got the people to, to spiffy up the bones, too. Um, is bed and breakfast going to be a business or is it going to be a residence? It's, it's a business, and he's, they're serving uh, dinner by reservations on Thursday, Friday. Saturday. We need and they've got an excellent <coughs> Have they been chef. advertising that? No, not, not for So they're not really into it yet? Well, they're, they're just getting started, but I'll tell you what, she can cook. She was a chef for uh, Wild Duck. No. Okay. Well, that's encouraging. We also have another business starting up in uh, down there at the trailhead, uh, which is now called uh, Cruise, cruise in. in. Cruise In, which is kind of funny because the town I came from had a cruise in. Um, that's encouraging to see some of these businesses. Unfortunately, there's one cop props up, another one drops out. Um, the Manning's is, is uh, closed. So, unfortunately, that's kind of, a, kind of an icon in Oak Ridge. He's been here for as long as I can remember. I remember Nickel Coffee there forever. And uh, that you might also be, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> That might, that might also be a, another opportunity for somebody. We have opportunities in town for these entrepreneurial people. And what we really need is, is what somebody brought up, is, is not only beautifying the highway, but giving people a reason to stop at you know, uh, places to eat and things like that. We've got a few along there, but they're not, they're not really poked out there where you can see them real well. So I think, I think working with the right people and a group, a group of people. I think we still could probably resurrect the uh, highway beautification group, but I think that we need to work with them with ODOT so that we can all, all be doing the same thing. What I didn't want to see was ODOT come in and put in a bunch of crosswalks, and then we decide to go with the enhancement plan and have to tear them out or something. So, anyways, is there anything else? I've talked long enough, I think. So I'm I, going to say something to about Yeah, Rich. My <coughs> Okay. I. Came to Oak Ridge in 1994 here with a broker for Diamond Beach. I contacted Diamond Beach. And they at the time said, the reason I contacted them when I had my office in Florence, so I worked with them in Florence. So we got the property and set it up for them. But when I contacted them, he 
I think, I think that's something we need to revisit because they do build in smaller towns. Yeah. And they're, they, they're specializing now, like university towns where there's a small amount of people. And they started this small <laughs> The only thing we need to find out, is, uh, maybe it's one of the things we can do in our strategic plan, is how much land have we got available to bring in outside place, things like Biomart, Walmart, how much land is available, how much is for sale, what, what are we looking at economically. Uh, I know there's people always talk about the place, the Tiller place down there on the 2nd Street behind uh, the West, Best Western, which would be a great place really. But uh, it depends on how it's zoned and everything, so that's the stuff we have to check into. Um, I'm not sure. We're still losing kids. One of the things that I, I do know when we talked to, to Nancy Pierce that we were complaining about the ambulance come uh, the ambulance we're, we're being put into a different classification, which puts us in the same mileage rate as the ambulance in Eugene. And uh, so she she said, Well it's based on what the census said. I said, Well, First of all, we don't trust the census that we got now. I'm still not, still not convinced it's right. Second of all, if they're basing it on the census and they're changing it because the population's changing, it hasn't really changed that much. And so she's going to go back and find out why they're, they're charging us that. I think we probably beat this to death, unless somebody else has got to want to. I just wanted to talk about population. The school district has lost 70 kids since. September of 2011. I heard they just got 10. Pardon? I heard they just got 10 back. Well, we, we, this last month was actually stayed even that they actually gained That's the first time that's happened. How's that? Uh, we need to <coughs> How's that? Uh, <laughs> school in West Ridge doing? Yeah. I don't know. You can't hurt us. You know, it, it, it brings 20 kids up here yeah. that add to our ADMW or, you know. Does that, does that give you any, any money for yeah. the state? Yeah, six, 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 six